day, I am joined with the most recently evicted BBN housemate season 5, who hails from Edo State, and that's none other than Brighto, originally born Ezekiel Bright Osemu Diame, a big brother Niger season 5 housemate. Brighto is 29 years of age, and obviously, like I said, from Edo State, and popularly called Lord <laughs> What's good, brother? I'm very fine, thank you. Very, very fine. nice to have you on the set, man. Thank you I hope you will not be jamming my head with my cameraman. Your cameraman? <laughs> no, no, I don't do that. Come on, come on. Don't do you don't do that on, no. on sets, right? All right, so let's start with um, how fame has treated you since you came out of the house. Uh, I think um, it has been how many days now? Four days, I guess. But it's been stressful, as a matter of fact. You know, different interviews and all that. And also, I get a compliment from fans like mm. you know like my first time come on like come let's take pictures I, I like you and all that so it's been amazing like i love it yes. so do you think there's a certain pressure that this newfound thing puts on you like i have to come correct this way like the pressure is different you can't just go out as the normal bright tool uh well i think for, for now it's still the normal bright tool so maybe probably yeah, as time goes on it might come but right now i don't think there's any pressure so you're still that guy that will stop and say ah yeah booby give me con Right now, yes, I'm still that <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Lord Baelish has been given to you as an alter ego. Is there a great difference between Lord Baelish and Brighto? Was that, was that a strategy of playing the Big Brother game or there's something similar? Are there some similarities? Well, if there's any similarities, I think it has to be the, the looks. Because when I came out, I had the name Lord Baelish and I saw some pictures, the comparison. Like, I think uh, the pictures look alike, but the attitude, the character itself, I don't think, no. I'm not calling you, come on. You're not no, cunning? No. no not so what's up with the midnight cooking? I'm, I'm really, really interested. When people are sleeping or, you know, trying to get booed up, you are in the kitchen cooking something, you know? Was what's it midnight? I had no idea. I thought it was very 10, 10 p.m. Or, <laughs> oh, you thought? Or 9 so you yes. thought wrong, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what's, what's up with that? Like, you know, I, you know I, I, I don't like eating um, in quantity. Maybe like three hours interval or so. So whenever I feel hungry, I just want to like take something. So in that special amount of week. Mm. You have a very good relationship with your mom because of the last task you did in the house and you got to speak about her. You said she was with you to the very moment you left for yes. the Big Brother house. Exactly. How did she feel knowing that you were coming home or how did she feel receiving you back home? Uh, I think she's happy. Like At least I, I, I made her proud. Like I, I, I stayed close to six weeks in the house. It's not easy, man. No reservation. She doesn't have any disappointment. Like, why you go behave like that? Why did you do this? Why did no, you do that? No not questions. At all, not at all. Like, man, the love was, the reception was nice. Yeah. I was so happy to see What her. was the first meal you had when you came out? Came out. Semu and okra. <laughs> Obviously, I knew it had to be swallowed. That's why I asked that question. All right. So let's play. Let's see how good you are with current affairs, right? Okay. All right. So my first question is, what is the motto of the Nigerian police force? The motto? Uh, police your friend. Clap for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the second one, what does the red eagle on the Nigerian coat of arms depict? Strength. You're amazing, man. Lord Billy, you know, you can't, you can't feel it. How many continents are there in the world? Uh, I think we have, um, um, okay. Six, seven, seven, seven. Great. All right. So, where is Kanji Dam in Nigeria located? Kanji Dam is in Niger State. Yeah, correct. Which is the highest court of law in Nigeria? Um, yeah, um the um, okay. Uh, okay, wait. Supreme Court. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> All right, so um, we can't have this conversation without talking about your relationship with Watoni. So was that something genuine? Did you feel like you had to be in a relationship or you actually felt something for Watoni? Because um, uh, in a word, you're not so ticklish anymore. <laughs> <laughs> of course, before, before, before going to the house, I had no intention of going into any relationship in the house. So mm. I think that was why I was laid back. Mm. Do you understand? So I don't want to like get involved in any relationship. I was just very close to her, like very, very close because we have um, deep conversations most of the time. So that's it. But outside the house, you never can tell something might as well happen. But while in the house, no intention for 
in relationship. All right. So Ebuka asked you a question during one of the eviction shows about what you said, what you were telling Kidwaya about um, <coughs> Neo, about him not being real, pretending and all of that. And you outrightly denied it. I'm sure by now you must have seen the clips going around of you actually saying those words to Kidwaya. So why did you deny it? Why did you feel the need to deny it at that moment? No, the thing is, when, when Ebuka asked you the question to me, I, I was confused. Like He said it like gossiping. I was like, oh, was that a gossip? I've never gossiped this guy before because it was after the show I had to recall and I was like, okay, it was a conversation I had with Kid Wire. And I, I called um, Neo and I had a conversation with him. I explained everything to him and we were cool. So what I said was um, I was telling um, Kid Wire that this guy is not, uh, I don't think he's small. Like in the house, is like letting us know that he's small but i think outside the house he's big do mm. you understand so it's just very simple from 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 a good angle not from a bad angle so that was why i uh, denied what Sibuka was asking me then do you understand yeah all right so let's take it outside the show because obviously you i'm sure by now you know that dorothy was kind of interested in you right so let's take it outside the house if you have to pick between watoni and dorothy what would it be outside the house Okay, right, like right, right now. Right, right now, I think I will need time to think about that. But I think, I like as you all know, I'm, I'm closer to, um, to Wathoni. Mm. Dorothy is a very good person. Like I love her energy and her vibes and everything. She's the most funniest, um, funniest um, female housemate. So whenever we her, we laugh. We just that's so whenever we're playing games. Do you understand? But for Wathoni, I think we talk more. We have um, we had deep conversations. So that was why I was um, attached to Wathoni then. Um, Dorothy. But right now, asking me that question, man, I'm not going to pick anyone, man. All right, so we have to <laughs> dig into some of your Lord Billish wisdom because uh, we saw a live video recently between Kid Wire's dad and um, a popular publisher, Kid Daily Momodo, and it kind of seemed, or he gave off a vibe like they're planning their wedding already, and you know, Twitter people are already buying Ashoy B and Price, and you know, what's your take on Kid Wire and Erica's relationship? Do you think it's genuine? Do you think it's something that will stand the test of time? Well, um, of course, it has um, everything it, it takes to stand the test of time. So when they come out, they, if they want to continue, they can continue. They don't want to so you don't think it's a game? You don't think they're just doing all of this for the camera? Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. When I was there, I wasn't doing anything for the game. I was just being myself. So I don't think anybody should, as a matter of fact, do anything for, for the game. Do you understand? So when they're out, they can decide to hook up and they can decide to like, split. So it depends on all of them. Yes. Alrighty, thank you so much for drinking tea with me, Brito. It's been amazing. Thank you very much.